Hello, my name is Shacho Tony Allo. We're at the Long Island Budokai, the Hungu Dojo of North American Bugay Society. This is the second video in a series that we're going to do on the defensive weapons of the samurai of feudal Japan. The topic I would like to discuss with you tonight is the topic of the weapon called the Kusuri Fundo. Kusuri Fundo is a handheld weapon used in feudal Japan, consisting of a length of chain called a Kusuri with a weight, Fundo, connected to each end of the chain. Various sizes and shapes of the chain and weight were used as there was no set rule of construction of these weapons. Other popular names that it has gone by is the Manriki Kusari, meaning 10,000 power chain, or Manriki. The parts of the uh, Manriki Kusari are this. The Kusari, the chain, is typically anywhere from 12 inches to 48 inches. The chain could have many different shapes, including round, elliptical, and even egg-shaped. The thickness of the chain also varied. Usually the first link of the chain attached to the weight was round and often larger and thicker than the rest of the links and this allowed support of the chain to the fundo. Which brings us to the weight, which is called fundo. The weight attached to each end of the chain could have many different sizes and shapes. The weight were usually exactly matched in size and shape. Shapes included round, hexagon, and even rectangle. The weight could be fairly light or quite heavy. Typically, the weight would run from 56 kilograms to 112 kilograms. History uh, tells us that the use of the Kusari Fundo was taught in several different schools as a hidden or concealed weapon. It would usually carry when a sword was not allowed or impractical. The samurai police of the Edo period would use the Manuriki Kusari as one of their non-lethal arresting weapons. There are several chain and weight weapons uh, in history that date back through manuscripts all the way to the Nanbokuchu period, which is 1336 to 1332. The founder of the Masiki Ryu, Masiki Toshihashi, um, who had developed a version of the Manuriki Kusari while serving Lord uh, Tanada. Uh, this weapon he had developed was used to defend the grounds of the Edo castle. So keeping this brief little history in mind, we'd like to do a, a couple of um, demonstrations of the use of the Manuriki Kusari in the lineage of Ogawa Rahu that we study. Thank you. Some of the uh, particular targets that we're going to work this evening or look at is with the uh, Manuriki Kusari is we will look at uh, the wrist and the uh, small bones along the wrist where the hand connects to the wrist, behind the elbow, the temporal bone, um, we could go to the knee. We want to look at any target that we hit with the chain is going to create a lot of devastation. But one of the main things we want to be concerned about is we want to use this more as a weapon to um, restrain a person. So there are even techniques we can use in Manuriki Kusari where we can restrain a prisoner or an enemy um, and not cause any bloodshed. Uh, 